control valve actuators control fluid in a pipe by varying the orifice size through which the fluid flow is. is. Control valves contain two major components the valve body and the valve actuator. That valve body provides the fluid connections and immovable restrict are comprised of a balanced M and plug that is in contact with the fluid that varies the flow. That now actuator is the compound that physically moved to restrict R to bury the fluid flow. Two reactor waiter types are used in control valves and they include its spine and diaphragm, solenoid, and motor. As the name suggests this bring in diaphragm actuator uses this bring added diaphragm to move the dowel stem and log. As the name suggests this bring in diaphragm actuator uses this bring added diaphragm to move the dowel stem and log. Against this brain which moves that restrict R the diaphragm moves until it creates an equal butt. Opposing force against this brink at which time the motion stops as the club meet the valve seat. With no air pressure to restrict areas pushed upward by displaying to act as a normally open control dowel. Do bury the position of the restrict R and flowed through the valve but try to pressure transducer can be used. To provide a 3 to 15 psi signal to the diaphragm and 3 psi the valve is maintained all been added 15 psi the valve is maintained clots pressures between the 3 to 15 psi range core portion only change the flow of the bow for example a pressure of 9 psi applied to the diaphragm moves this bring in valve stem 250 percent of operating range For all and off control of the valve of solenoid is used to actual weight of valve to a fully clothed or fully open position. Applying current to the coal oil generates a magnetic field that moves the plunger down war against the return spring. With zero current po applied to the coal oil this sprinkles the plunger upwards to the fully open position for a normally open state control bow. Another method for Gary Abel Gould positioning uses a motor and is referred to as proportional control mode using a gear motor attached to the valve stem. A servo amplifier provides a DC control signal that moves the valve to the desired position. Feedback is achieved with the wiper arm attached to the valve stem. It sends a signal back to the servo amplifier. Or the position is monitor the cerebral amplifier drives the motor until the control signal is equal to the feedback signal.